So what type of home ownership do you have? Are you a renter? Are you a homeowner? Uh, neither. neither. Neither? So um, can you explain further? Um, I'm 18 years old, um, and I just currently live with my boyfriend's grandma. So okay. She's a homeowner. I'm not. Okay, she's a homeowner, but it is in Cook County, right? It's Correct? In Cook County. Okay. Can you describe the type of structure of the house? Like, is it just a single family detached house or is it a duplex? Is it an apartment style condo? It is a house. It's a four bedroom house, mm -hmm. uh, two ba three bathrooms. Um, it's kind of a big house. It's um, one story, two yes, story? One story. One story. Okay. Yard. That's yeah, it has a very big yard. Um, there's a lot of trees, pine trees, and stuff like that. What about the roof? Uh, the roof, uh, it's just a regular old roof. Mm -hmm. Like, I think it's a what do they call that? Uh, Is it shingles? shingles. Okay, shingles. okay. And what um, is your approximate move-in date? When did you start living there? I started living there in February of 2019. 2019, okay. Well, have you always lived in Cook County? Yes, I always have lived in Cook County. So where did you live prior to the house that you live in right now? Uh, when I was born, we lived in Sparks. Mm -hmm. in then my father moved to Adel, mm -hmm. to a one-story house. Then I moved in with my aunts for a while, and then I moved out of there. Okay. So but there, we had a one-story uh, house in Cook County, too. Okay. What about the roof also? Yeah, the roofs, all of the roofs were uh, shingles. shingles. Okay, so tell me how your family ended up in Cook County. Um, my, I think it was my grandparents on my father's side. They just um, moved down here. They lived in North Georgia, and they moved down here for work. Mm -hmm. And so they kind of just stayed here. Okay. That's really interesting. I'm actually from the Philippines. I moved here in America in 2015. And I met my husband. He lives in Tifton. So now we live in Tifton in a brick house. Mm -hmm. And it's a rent-to-own yeah. situation. So have you ever invested in solar, you or your family, and either on your roof or any type of utility? Um, no. Okay. I don't believe so. Um, if you, would you, if it was available, want solar? I think it would be a more efficient, uh, you know, source of energy. Mm -hmm. And I believe that it would, you know, cut costs a lot. Um, it's always really sunny here in South Georgia, so I don't think we would have a problem with getting energy that way. Okay. Well, so you'd be interested if it was available? Yes, I would. Okay. And so if you had that option, so you would be interested if you have the option, would you put rooftop solar on your home? Yes, if it was more, um, it was, if it's more economically, you know, efficient, I, I definitely would. Okay. So now I have a map of the United States of America in front of you. And what I want you to do is with your pen, draw on there where you think um, people, most people who invest in solar would be located. Can I just put like a little X? Yes, X, star, check, just anywhere there that you think, yeah, they would probably have most solar in those areas. And once you're done doing that, if you could just tell me what do you think the kind of people they are, like what kind of jobs do they have, and where do they live, their social groups. I think um, California and Florida, I believe that they would be very big on solar power, mainly California because it is very expensive to live in California. Rent is extremely you know, high. So I would imagine they would try to have some kind of solar uh, power uh, incorporated to their house. And I believe Florida would most definitely have it because, you know, it's always like sunny in Georgia and Florida. And, you know, rent and expenses down there is very, um, you know, high. And I think 
I mean, I hate to say it, but I would think that uh, the upper class would probably have solar mm -hmm. available on their homes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what makes those communities that you mentioned, you know, California, Florida, um, so different from the people in Cook County? Um, I think Cook County is very small. We're just a small little town um, with some local businesses. We have some big corporations like Walmart and stuff like that here, but we're all really kind of um, middle class workers, and it's not like somebody is you know, able to do something like that. We would rather just pay, you know, our light bill or mm -hmm. however. We wouldn't want to go through the hassle of doing it. You know, when, you, you, when you're in a small town, people just kind of want to sustain themselves mm -hmm. and don't want to go any further. All right. And let's talk about the state of Georgia. That next map that you have right there, I want you to do the same thing. If you can, using your pen, draw on the map of the state of Georgia where you would think the most number of people who invest in solar would be located. And same question, what kind of people are they? What kind of social groups? What, their, what are their jobs? Okay, so um, I picked a couple of places like... Uh, Columbus, Macon, Savannah, obviously Atlanta, Athens, because, um, you know, there, it's big cities, um, so there's more likely bigger corporations and people move there with their jobs, so I think that they would want to have a house there, and they would have the funds, and they wouldn't want to just, you know, stay in a little house, you know, they would want to help. Um, with solar um, panels. They would want to install solar panels. So that's mm -hmm. what I think. Okay, so same question. What makes those communities so different from Cook County? They're just bigger. Okay. More, um, you know, bigger businesses, bigger corporations. It's different, you know, um, from having these little um, hometown, locally brought up businesses. So that's mm -hmm. just different. What about most of your close friends and family or even just acquaintances here in the state of Georgia? Do you know if they have solar power and why do you think they do or they don't? I really don't believe I know of anyone in Cook County that has solar power that I know of. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that maybe they would think, they would think bad of it. Um, but I think if they knew how more economically efficient it would be, I think they would, you know, sort of lean towards it. So. All right, so on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being very knowledgeable, 1 not very knowledgeable, well, how would you rate yourself in terms of, you know, your knowledge in t with regards to solar energy, solar power? Five or six. A five or six. What about Cook County in general? Cook County in general, a three. Okay.